the days, I don't really know what happens to them, but they just kind of... My socks on and my shoes. No, I don't drink booze because I'm a healthy dude. Sometimes I smoke weed if you know what I mean because I try to keep myself elevated. That's why I take elevators. Today we are shooting how to jump rope like Jake Gyllenhaal in South Paul. Stay tuned for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to go talk about our ayahuasca trip because the camera, like you saw in Brandon's video yesterday, camera died on us so we couldn't we, we didn't end up watching anything but we are going to go take care of that then we're gonna go work out and we're gonna eat and it's possible it's possible oh. we're gonna go and get rollerblades and I really want to get rollerblades because they're cool and I'm bringing the 90s back holler at your boy fruit water fruit water fruit water <laughs> We're, we're done shooting. Now it's time to eat and go to the mall to look for rollerblades. Shame of thought made a thought. Oh. Oh. What's that, Dan? You're gonna break the fast with gummy worms? I hate you! Hey, hey! It's already, it is 4.50. The days, I don't really know what happens to them, but they just kind of... I had mixed feelings on ayahuasca the day that we left the ceremony because, and also I realized, and I mentioned this in yesterday's vlog, I think a big thing for me was that I, I couldn't control the environment, so I didn't like the fact that I was cold for most of it, I also didn't love the fact that like I couldn't just take the ayahuasca and then go do my own thing. It was like, you know, it helped me learn a little bit more patience because we had to go through the ceremony, which in the end ended up being the most gratifying, fulfilling part of the experience. Um, but at the time, I was so focused on going to this crazy visualization place that I wasn't focusing on what I really should have been. And so I believe that the ayahuasca brought me back to a good place where I realized and benefited from just this this simple ceremony in and of itself and meeting new people and going out of my comfort zone um yeah i talked about this yesterday as well but i feel like a huge sense of gratitude i don't know if this is the medicine or just because i'm like a happy dude because i got away for a weekend but did, like when we were working out and shooting the workouts today i was just I was really happy and I'm a pretty for those who know me I'm a pretty happy dude it takes a lot for me to be in an unhappy mood but uh, I was really ha I'm really happy right now I feel really good about that whole experience and after letting the medicine settle and start to get out of my body I don't know if it's still in there um, I feel really good moving forward and like in the future I would like to definitely experience that again I don't feel like I need to do that anytime soon but I will definitely do ayahuasca again or jahe for sure and if you're gonna do it make sure you know the people make sure that you've done some research on the ceremonies and where you're doing it um, for those who are wondering yes Brandon and I did our research before doing this it's not like we met some dude on the side of the road and he was like yo man like come out and ingest these drugs and change your life like we you know we did our research before going, and it turned out to be a great, great experience. And I got a bracelet. Look at my bracelet. Oh, weird dreams bracelet. Oh, we're at a restaurant. This is a new restaurant. Looks pretty cool, right? Check that out. Although there's no one here, so the food probably sucks. Thank you. Thank you. 
not hungry or anything.